Welcome, everyone. This is Ageless Balance. I am Ron. We are going to do strength today. Lots of strength. Starting out with warm-ups, though. We'll just do this to get ready. So we got a set of 10 exercises. We're going to do them twice through. Weights or not weights, up to you. First time, we're going to do them seated. Get a feel for all the exercises. Second time, you can do them seated again, or you can stand up for the second set. Up to you. All right. First thing we're going to do is just arms up, clench the fists, bring the arms up, roll them over, and push it back down. I'm keeping my feet going. You can too. Up and back down. It's a nice little balance challenge to be moving the upper body and the lower body at the same time. And down, up, and back down. One more time. This is a nice and easy way to start. Up, out to the outside. Roll the shoulder blades back. Chest is out. Bring them back in and back down again. Starting out easy because if you were kept up all night by people with fireworks, we were, but that was okay. And back down again. That's some pretty incredible uh, people with their money they must spend on fireworks, though, because they were really, really cool coming out of people's homes. Up, up, arms up. Bring it back. Roll the shoulder blades back. See how we're doing this a little at a time? Just warming up the joints. And down. A couple more. Up. Out. Roll the hands back. Guess what we're going to do? Roll overhead. Shoulder blades back as you bring the arms down. Hands down. Parallel with the floor. Elbows in. And back to a curl. One last time. Up. Out. Arms back, push it up overhead, reach, reach for the ceiling, bring it back down, hands down, elbows in, and back. Whew. All right, I like these progressions today. We're going to be doing them. Out and back. That's it. Out, little, little lunge, kind of, kind of moving forward. Remember, you're picking that foot up, up, knee toe, all in alignment. Stepping out onto the ball of the foot to the heel and pushing back. Back leg does the work. Out, opposite arm, opposite leg. Out and back. Out and back. Let's go into a hip hinge right here. Butt back. Back is straight. Shoulder blades back. Keep that spine straight. The only thing I'm moving is through the hip. Knee stays over the ankle. And up and bring it back other side. Out. Coming down in that hip hinge. Shoulder blades back. Don't let yourself twist. Man, I really had to work on getting that shoulder back around. I wanted to roll right into that. And back up. Out. Down. One more time each side. Feel the stretch through the hamstrings as you're doing this. And then push back up. Nice and slow. Foot up. Out. Into that stagger step. Knee over ankle. Feet parallel, kind of. And... Down, opposite arm, opposite leg. Get that right. And back up. Talking to myself here. A little encouragement for me. All right, this time we're going to do that hip hinge. We're also going to bring the toe up. So bringing the toe up off the floor, like that, and then going into that hip hinge for the stretch in the back of the lower leg. Down, down. Nice, nice and easy. Don't, don't, go, don't go hard here. We're just doing this for the first time, getting those muscles warmed up. We did some walking as we did all those other exercises, so that was good. When we're doing the shoulder stuff, warmed them up a little bit, but we need to do just a little more with them. And up, one more time each side. This time maybe you can get down a little deeper with it. Feel just a little more stretch below the knee all the way down to the heel. Shoulder blades are back, chest is out. It is that hip hinge. Right straight back, bring it up, other side out. And nice and easy, deep breath as you exhale. See if you can come down just a little bit more. Roll, push back, and to the middle. We're going to go out and kick and bring it back in. Up, out, in. Nice and slow. Take your time with it. Up, take it out, bring it in, and down. Other side, up, out. In and down. You don't have to bring it up very high. Just get it off the floor. Try to balance as you take that weight forward. 
putting that foot up, opposite arm, opposite leg, out, I got it right too. Left hand, right leg, out, in and back, up, out, in and back. Couple more times, take it out, bring it back in and down, weight shifting over that stationary leg, up, out, in and down. Okay, reverse, step it back and bring it in. We did all sorts of forward stuff. Let's do back and up, back and up. Take it, step back, ball of the foot, roll the hips, push up through the heel on the front leg, down and up. Get the form right. Make sure that you're not putting stress on the knees as you're doing this, that all the joints are straight. Everything's pointed right out in front of you, so you're not putting undue stress on any one joint or all of them. If one's, if one's having to make up for yourself being out of alignment, all the joints are going to be paying for it. And up, out, and up. This time, step back and bring the knee up. So just like we did with that kick out front and bring it back. Stepping back and out. Reverse lunge. Pick the foot up, kick it out, and bring it back in. Do the best you can with this. Hold on to the chair if you need it. You can take putting the hand hovering over the chair in case you need it. Or tap the toe. You can do that too. I'd rather you use the chair for, for stability when you do this. Get used to that feeling on the single leg. If the hand is just over the chair, you're still doing all the work. Maybe just makes you a little more comfortable as you're doing it. Back and kick one more time. Out and in. We did front, we did back. Let's do side, tap out and bring it back. Keeping yourself in the middle over that stationary leg. This is the leg lifts, taps the toe, comes back in. Woo, out and in, finding your balance we are. Finding my balance I am. And in, out, take your time, slow. Slowly as you go, steady as she goes, out and back, out. All right, we're going to take it out wide. Go with the body. You sit right between the legs, push back in and to the middle. So now we're taking that out, weight shift to the middle, pushing back on that outside leg, getting used to how hard you push back and out. Finding your balance while you're moving. Moving balance, dynamic balance, with that motion involved up, out, and up, out, bring it back, out, and back. One more time, here, and here. This time, as you step out, arms out to the side, hip hinge, roll the shoulders, bring them back, arms up, other side. Now we're getting the shoulders a little more involved. Upper back, getting that rotation through the middle of the back, stretching out the upper back and the chest, front of the shoulders, and up. Out, you're between the legs, rotation, bending that lead knee. Out, just like the weight shifts we do when we do hip hinges, lateral lunges, out, rotate, and bring it back in one more time on each side. There's one, and up, there's two, and bring it back. Heels up to the butt. Butt kickers. Butt kickers. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is as we bring the heel up, opposite arm, opposite leg, reach across and bring it down and up. Foot that comes up. Arm on the other side. Drive it up. Bring them both up. Cross body. Cross the top. Balance on that single leg as you're doing this. Make sure the knee is pointed right to the floor. So don't let that whole knee, the leg just come up in a march. You want to work those hamstring muscles in the back of the thigh, stretching out those quadros, quadriceps. And up. Push. And push. Balancing on that single leg as you push off. And up. Up. All right. Slow down. Push. I mean, rotate, foot around going into a skater. Think about the hips as you're doing this, keeping them straight. Toe on that stationary leg, knee and the hips all stay right straight out in front. This leg that's moving is just moving within that joint. 
stretching that joint out, warming it up, out and back, opening it up, making it more flexible. Whoops. All right. With that, with that, just bring the arms across. Stretch and back. Getting the upper back, getting the shoulders, getting the chest and around. Don't let the hips go. Just because you're starting to move the arms too doesn't mean the hips start to go. Everything stays forward. Back and up. A couple more. A couple more, and then we're done with this warm-up stuff. And one more each side. Back together and other side. Good. Grab your weights. Grab your chair. So the standing and seated will be pretty much the same for most of them. It's up to you the second time through how you want to do it. I'd, if you want to sit down for the first one, I'd, I'd, I'd like to go through the form and the motions that way. But if you, if you want to do them standing up, uh, they're, they're pretty, pretty simple. So you could do them standing if you want to. First thing we're going to do is a sprinter. So getting off to the side of the chair, we're going to go foot back and knee up. So it's back, arms go back, working those triceps, back of the leg, and then up again. Let me do this from the side. So you've got hands up, elbows are next to the uh, torso. You're off to the edge of the chair, and it's out and in. Tap out in the back, bring the knee up. You can also do this just stepping out, heel, and then bringing the foot back. Out. And back in, same thing. Get yourself maybe a little hip hinge in here, a little lean forward at the hips, and back again. We're started. So it's up to you, whichever one you're comfortable with, whichever one you can do with the chair that you have. End up, out, and up. You can bring that knee up if you want. Step back and bring it up. Out and up. The other thing you can do is back. And forward from the side of the chair. You've got a little more room to move when you're in the side of the chair. Back and up, or you can do it right from here. Arms go back with the foot. Arms go forward with the foot. Five seconds. And out on this side, five seconds. Back and bring it in. Take your time. Go at your pace. Your range of motion, your pace. Take a break. We're going to go over to the other side. Take a 15-second break here before we go on. Same thing, other side. You're going to get lots of curls in here, working the biceps, working the triceps on the when the arms go back. All right, and here we go. Back and up. If you want to bring that knee up, step back and bring it up. Using those hamstrings to bring the leg back, using the hip flexors and the quadriceps to bring it forward. Tap, you can tap front and back. Roll the shoulder blades back and up. You always wanna have that hip hinge in there, that straight back, up, toe back, heel out, and toe back. A Couple more times, let's do two more. Bring it up, bring it back. Last one, and back. Going into a hip hinge. Demo, this is just demo right here. Hip hinge, arms down at the side, piston row up and up. Only go down as far as is comfortable for you, but you need to keep a straight back on this one. So if you're ready, bring the arm back. Elbow comes back as far as you can get it. Don't let the torso twist as you're doing it. So don't go around with the shoulders rolling. The shoulder blade comes around on that arm that's coming up. One arm up, one arm down. And get into that hip hinge and down. 15 seconds left. Stay in here. Feel this in the upper back from the shoulder blade all the way to the spine. Actually, it goes over to the other shoulder blade. And up, five seconds. Back. One more time. Bring it up there and back down. What do we got here? Arms up on the sides. So what we're going to do is bring high knee, high knee up. 
and back down. Be really careful with this one. You're on the edge of the chair. You want to make sure that you got your butt out as far as you're comfortable with. And as you bring the leg up, opposite arm comes up and back down. Don't let yourself lean forward as you're doing this. Put weight into that foot that's on the floor. Up high and back down. Up and back. Keep the back straight. Keep the shoulder blades back. Lean forward just a little bit. So I had to squeeze, bring those shoulder blades back. Felt that little curve come back to the lower back. And down, up. Core is working overtime here to hold you upright. Even if you're not standing, you're still working that core hard on this one. Up, five seconds. And we are done with that one. Bring it down. Next one. We're going to kick out toe tap, alternating sides. Out back. With that, we're going to do a curl. Palms facing in. You're up to the edge of the chair. Shoulder blades are back. It is palms in, getting to the top, rolling, keeping the weights in alignment, hands in alignment with the shoulders, and back down. So what we're trying to do is work those deltoids around the front and the side, working those, those muscles right there, the biceps all the way across. There's a word for them. I'm going to use it. Tap out and curl and bring it down. If you want, opposite arm, opposite leg, up and back down. Another way you can do it, if your arms are getting tired, otherwise up and back down. Keep the elbows to the torso we started. Keep the elbows right next to the torso as you're doing this. Tap the heel, out, and bring it back, out, and back. Exhale as you bring it up. Inhale as you take it back down. 10 seconds left. That's it. Just 10 seconds. Up and back, up and back. Next one. Shoulder blades are back, chest is out. You'll notice there's been a lot of upper and lower body together. This one's just going to be lower body. So we're going to go into a hip hinge right here to do a sit to stand, rolling it forward. If you can, take it all the way up to standing, back up to the chair and butt back down again. Nice and slow, weight goes into the heels, and relax. That's it, that's the whole move. If that doesn't work for you, just come up, hold for a count, and then go right back down again. Whichever one's right for you, but keep the weight from the ball of the foot to the heel. Don't let yourself go forward into the toes. Ready, up, right straight up to the heels. So you're putting a lot of, of weight into those heels, because that's using that rear chain all the way up the back of the leg which is where your big muscles are. That's where all the hard work should be, is in those big muscles. Back and down, nice and soft. Forward, if the weight is too much, get rid of it. Push off the thighs, or you can do it that way too, and bring it back. So a lot of adjustments you can make here. Up, pushing, and then back down again. We're gonna do this one more time up so you're working on a lot of different things here and the biggest one is that coming down nice and slow this eccentric movement is the one where you're really really putting those muscles to work to bring you down slowly and that's going to give you the strength to get back up again as well all right next right here out and back this one, the waist may be too much. Get rid of them. Or the other thing is always, don't go out as far with the arms. Just go out halfway. A little bit out and back in. Whichever one works for you. Most important cue here is don't lean forward with the weight. You're putting all sorts of stress on the lower back if you do that. With that, we're going to take foot out to the side, reach across, and bring it back. Other side, out and back in. So here we go. Here we go now. Tap out and bring it in. That doesn't work for you. If you're twisting, then just go back to the upper body only. But if you can, step out. Don't let your torso twist either direction and across 
and back. Don't let the hips turn. Sits bones stay flat on the chair. They don't move. Out and back. All the rotation happens above the hips so that you're working those obliques on the outside of the core. Step out and bring it back. Out and back. Right out to the side. Last one and back. What are we doing next? Upright rows. Upright rows. Going into a hip hinge. Forward. Waist at the side as you come back. Shoulder blades will be back. You're going to bring the elbows up. Using this momentum of the upper body to help you come up to seated. And then back down again. So that you're not using the lower back. Rolling the shoulders down and using the back to get you up first. This is elbows come up, shoulder blades back. Squeeze it all, stop at the top, and then back down nice and slow, making sure you keep that curve in the lower part of the back as you go down. So you feel more stress going into the feet, more weight being shifted down into the feet. Perfect, that's what you're looking for as you come forward. And then keep that, that contact with the floor as you come back up again, stabilizing the hips. Ready, we're doing it. I started. And down, bring it up, shoulder blades back, squeeze it out, and back down again. You can make this hip hinge as little or big as you want. So you can go way down into it if you're comfortable with that, and you've got the strength in the core to be able to bring you back up again, that's fine. If you don't, just stay kind of upright and make just a little move and back down. But the important thing is keeping that back straight as you're doing this, one more time. Down and up. We're there. This time, weights on the thighs. Don't put them on the knees, put them right there. One thing you can do too is put them up on the ends and push down on them. What we're gonna do is bring one leg up and one, two, three, and back down. This is a core exercise. Come out as far as you can on the edge of the chair. Lift the leg. It doesn't have to come up high. It is not about that. It's about not letting yourself roll forward as you do this. Keep the shoulder blades back. One, two, three. You're going to feel this in the front of the hip, these hip flexors right, right in front there, right between the torso and the leg. One, two, three, and down. Other side. Don't let yourself twist. No change in weight distribution between those uh, sits bones. Three, and down, nice and slow. Heel comes up first, off the ball of the foot, three count, back down on the ball of the foot, and down, up, two, three, tap the toes first, slowly go down. Remember when that eccentric or that movement back down again is using all kinds of strength to slow it down. Last one, two, three, and back down. Couple more, two more. Two more is all we've got. So, right here, shoulder blades back. Going forward again into that hip hinge. As you come forward, bring the arms up. And then back to fully seated again. Control the movement. Don't let the weights draw you out and bring you back. It is hip hinge, little bend in the elbows. Lifting the weights up in front of you. Keeping the shoulder blades back. And then coming back, rolling the shoulder blades back to the upright. So it's forward. Feel yourself lifting those weights up. Not momentum. The muscles in the front of the shoulder. Shoulders. And down. Keeping the back straight. Shoulder blades are back. Chest is out. And back behind you. Raise them up just a little bit when you get behind. And then forward again. So here we're working the front of the shoulder, that deltoid in the front. And then here we go back, squeezing the shoulder blades together, working that deltoid in the back of the shoulder socket. Up, nice and slow, back out again. Out one more time. And bring it up. Last thing we got here, side arm raises. Tapping out to the side like we did before. Arm up. And bring it all back in again. Other side up. Tap. 
back in. So the foot is going off, the knee, toe is going off to the side in that external rotation, but keep the knee and toe in alignment. Up, those go out at a rotation as the arm comes up, and then bring it back in again, working the muscles on the outside of the hips. Up, the glutes are working here to get that rotation happening. Up and out. And back in if the weight is too much. Elbow bent and bring it back in. I did that wrong. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Stick with it. Up and back down. I'm not very quick on the uptake here. Up and back down. One more each side. Lift it up. Come back. Out and back. First time through, we're good. Set your weights down. Stretch out a little bit. Go ahead and stand up, walk around. We work the hip flexors and the quadriceps pretty heavily there. A lot of leg lifting and moving to the outside. Good idea to stretch it out a little bit as you just kind of kick the legs out, rolling behind you, stretching out those muscles in the front of the of the torso, of the legs. This is a really good place for butt kickers. If you can do these, like if you're pushing a cart again, or doing something hands at the counter, this is a really good exercise. You'll feel this great stretch happening in the quadriceps. You'll feel these muscles in the back of the thighs really starting to uh, really engage. And those hamstring muscles, we don't get a lot of, there's not a lot of different exercises where we can hit them really well. From a standing position, we can do a lot more with them from the floor. So do them every day. Get that foot up, squeeze those muscles back there, toe or the knee pointed right straight to the floor. And if you keep the foot in, you'll also feel a stretch in the back of the lower legs. All right, ready, sprinters. That was where you were on the edge of the chair or foot out, foot back. And the arms one at the same time, extend and bring them in. Or we're going to go back and up, back and up. Up to you on how you want to do it. Stationary leg. Make sure you're not going forward with it, bending it over the toe. You can come up. It'll come over the ball of the foot, up over the laces on that front leg. But that should not go any farther than that. You're really concentrating on that front foot, flat on the ground. And if you are ready, we do it. We do it. Arms back, arms up. Step back and bring it up. How much of a hip hinge you want to go into is up to you. Back and up. The farther back you go with that back leg, the more challenge it's going to be to be able to stay upright with that momentum forward and back because you've got more of that momentum shift going up to the front leg. Back and up. Back and up. We're going to go to the other side. You should feel that in that stationary leg side. That's where the work's happening, as well as the biceps, triceps, front and back of the upper arms. All right, we're doing it. Here we go. Step back, curl it up, back. Stop if you bring that knee up, come to a full stop and then back. You can also tap the toe to the front if you want, but stay there for a count. Re-engage, pick the foot up into a little bit of a hip hinge. Up and back or up, whoa, and back. Foot down, having problems, I'm rolling out on this one. So they have to work those inner thighs to keep the foot flat. Up and back down, up, and out one more time, right there, and back. All right, piston row, two ways. You wanna go into a stagger step and go over that front leg, knee over the ankle, shoulder blades back. You can do it that way, or you can go into a skier stance, feet side by side, pushing the butt out. This is a little harder. This one, you're more likely to drop the shoulders down, which is gonna hurt the lower back. You're much better off. If you go into that stagger step, unless you've got the strength in the core to be able to hold you right here as you're doing it. So up to you on how you want to do it. I'm going to go stagger, putting the weight over that front leg, and you're ready. Elbow back. One and two. 
Bring it around, shoulder blades, squeezes. This is a posture. This, this is a posture exercise, working those muscles in the upper back, opening up the chest. The stronger they are in the back, the more you're going to get that front to open up. Get those muscles around the chest open up, around the lungs. And the more you can get that, instead of having the shoulders rolling forward, the more air you're going to get in the lungs, which means the more air you're going to get in the body. Up to all of the important organs. Well, they're all important, really. So maybe the appendix. Up. Spleen. That's the one. And up. Up. And. Whew. Feel that in that front leg. Going in the glutes and the hamster and the uh, quads of that front leg. All right. This one's a little tougher. Arms up on the side. If you're standing, this one could be a challenge. This is shoulder press. Whoops, opposite arm, opposite leg. Shoulder press with the heel up. Harder, a lot harder. The other thing you can do is just a little movement, the upper leg or with the upper arms and back, up and back. Start there and then maybe go a little bit more at a time. Got to keep those shoulder blades back. Foot flat on the floor. That's that's the key. You ready? Up and back down. Other side. Take your time on that switch. Find yourself good balance before you switch over to that other side. Up and back down. This is one if you're sitting, you can do this picking the knee up, going into a high knee, and back down, up and back. Heel comes up, arm goes up on the other side. One more time each side. There's one, and down, two, and back. Ooh. All right. Roll the shoulders out a little bit. You feel that one in there. We're going to kick like that. Low kick. Just nice easy. Out and back. Foot out and back. Going to do a curl with this. Opposite arm, opposite leg. So as that foot comes up, so does the weight. And back down again. Leg up. As the foot extends, bring it back in and down. Up and down. We started five seconds ago. Hopefully you've been doing this for at least seven seconds now. Up. Huge balance thing going on here. Every one of these exercises is an intense core exercise. You have to hold the torso right over that stationary leg. Even if you are seated, keeping yourself out at the edge of the chair instead of using the back of the chair to hold you up, you are doing all core with that. Up and back down. A couple more. Up and out. One more each side. There's one. Bring it down. There's two. And bring it down. All right. Weighted squats. Easy one. Down. Roll the hips and push back up again. How far you go down is up to you. But don't let this happen. Don't let the shoulders go down to the floor rolling down or the knees go past the toes. I can feel that every time I show that as an example of don't do this. I can feel that all the way around the knee. So here we go. Squat with weights. Down, butt back. And back up. So you're going to have a little hip hinge going on here. Knees are going to be bent a little bit and bring it back up. This is the one they say that think about the lower leg and the torso being parallel and up. And it's not exact. I know that. But both are kind of have that forward lean to them and then drive back up through the heels. Down and out, up and in. Torso goes forward, butt goes back, and... Back in again, shoulder blades back. Two more. There's one down and up. That means we have one left. Take it down. Stop at the bottom. Don't just bounce. And then come up, taking your time as you do it. That wasn't too bad. Next. Cross body jabs. You don't have to go way across. That's, that's a lot of stress on the inside of that shoulder. If you can, perfect. You gotta make sure you can keep those shoulder blades back if you do that. Otherwise, it's just like in front of the other shoulder with the crossbody reach, like that instead. So how far you go out really depends on how much you can keep the shoulder blades back, how strong that shoulder is. 
don't push it. If you feel this at all in the front of the shoulder front coming to the inside toward the chest, don't go that far with that rotation. As you do, you're going to step out to the side, pivot, and reach. And bring it back, other side, up and out, and back. Let's do it. Let's start. If you haven't done it yet, it's time. So what you're making sure of here is that you're not turning the torso with this. This is, or you're not turning the hips with it, sorry. Torso can turn, everything above the hips, perfectly fine. Around and back, but not the hips. And in, out, and in. 10 seconds left. Again, only go out as far as you can hold and maintain your posture. You probably go out a little farther if you bring it in and not go out as wide. And back, one more time. Out and in, out and back. What are you doing next? Upright row. Going into a hip hinge. Arms down at the side, using the other leg than we used before. Down into that hip hinge and coming up. Shoulder blades are back. So as you go into that hip hinge, you're coming down. Torso is coming down over the thigh. Knee doesn't move. It's right over that ankle. It's going to stay there. Up. Shoulder blades back, squeeze them together, and back down again. So using that other leg, we did it. The other leg for the other exercise, whichever one that was. Oh, the piston row, squeeze back. Now we're using the other one. So this is going to be a heavy, heavy glute exercise. This one as well as the uh, trapezoids on the top of the shoulders, as well as the very upper back, right below the neck and down. Keep the shoulder blades back when you do this. And don't let the shoulders come up. This is just the arms that are raising up. The muscles around the shoulders are doing the lifting. Up, shoulder blades back, five seconds. And down, last one. Up, and back down again. Next, the swingy, skier swingers. So, Weights out, weights back. Arms go forward, go into that skier with just a little bit of a hip hinge, just a little bit, and bring it back, shoulder blades back. So we're working the front of the shoulders, lifting here, working the back of the shoulders, bringing it back, lifting in the back, and then the hips, glutes, quads are all working for the lower body. So out. Again, if you need to go to a stagger step, it is a lot safer. It's a lot more stable. Out and bring it up. Squeeze it back. A little bend in the elbows forward and back. Keep that bend in the elbow all the way through this. You want to work the muscles at the very top of the arm, around the shoulder socket. Out and back. One more. Out and back. All right. Last one. Stepping out to the side. Arm up and back in. Try it both ways. Try it same arm, same leg. See if you like that better. And then the other side, it's up to you. It's, it's a balanced thing. Wherever you're comfortable being, this I find a little bit harder for me, which it doesn't make sense, but it, it just, I have a little more work. I can feel a little more effort going into it when you use opposite arm, opposite leg. It may not be the same for you. Up. Same arm, same leg may work better. And back down. Your call. We started, though. I'm sure you've been doing it already. It looks like it. Up and back down. Up on the other side. So I'm challenging myself a little more. Remember, if the shoulder's getting tired, bend the elbows and back down. Still arc them up. It's the elbow that's arcing up instead of the weight here. And back down. Up and back. Out. One more each side. There's one there, it's coming in. There's one there, you're done. You are done with those weights. Set them down. And even if you weren't using weights, you're still done with it. That part of the class, that's history. We're moving on. We got a little more to do. Grab your chair, grab your water. We're gonna sit down on the chair nice and easy, not plopping, and it's a smooth stop. So when you come down, always think about both cheeks hit at the same time, legs at the same time, sits bones come down together, not more weight on one than the other. 
we have this tendency because one leg is stronger than the other to come down on that side and then roll back up again. Horrible. Horrible for the body. Don't do that, okay? Because it's really bad for you. Get up. Let's get to the ankles. I said we were going to make a more of an effort to get to the ankles. So grab onto the back of the thigh. Roll the shoulder blades back. And rotate like that. Around and around. Keep the shoulder blades back. Be breathing a little deeper here. You want to get air in those lungs, fill them up, and then push the stomach out. All that workout we did, we want to flush those uh, muscles out, get some oxygen in there with the blood. And other side, same thing. Lift up and around. So the only reason I'm having you put the hands under the thighs, you can do it just bringing the foot up, but that's working the hip flexors a lot. And right now, this is just a cool down. I really want to focus on ankles. So this way, you're in a better place for posture. And you can really focus on just, just those ankles and rotating them. And around. Feet down on the floor. Shoulder blades are back. Hose out. Walk them out. Step out. Back in. Heels in. Toes in. Out one more time. Walk it. These feet were made for walking. In. In. And bring it together. Fingers intertwined, palms up to the ceiling. Deep breath in. I want to hit the stretches here. I've got a lot more, but I want to hit the stretches that hit the muscles that we just worked. Down to the side bend, sit bone stay on the chair. Weight does not shift from one side to the other. Using that top hand, bring you back up again. Try to get those fingers intertwined and, and up towards the ceiling. You may have more bend in your elbows. And you still feel that stretch all the way through the arms, but this is a great stretch for the entire arm, arms both. And bring it back up again, grab onto the back of your chair. We're going into a cat cow. Roll the shoulder blades back, chest is out. Deep breath in through the nose, roll the shoulder blades back one more time as you push the stomach out, and then exhale, bring the palms of the hands down to the thighs, rolling the shoulder blades forward. Stretching the upper back, deep breath in. Exhale, grabbing onto the back of the chair one more time, shoulder blades back. Deep breath, stomach out, shoulder blades down, and then exhale, bring it all forward, creating that big rose bowl in there. I picked a rose bowl because that's what you guys win all the time. And deep breath in, stomach out, drive it out, exhale. Those are the important ones. Down underneath. Arms up on the sides. Roll the shoulder blades back as you come up. Deep breath in through the nose. Forcing the stomach out as you go. And exhale, bringing the arms down on the side. Keep the shoulder blades back. Squeeze them together all the way down. Great stretch for the front of the shoulders and the chest. One more time. Up overhead. Deep breath in. Arms. Get them back there. Get them back there as much as you can. Deep breath in, stomach out, and exhale one more time, bringing the arms down. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. 